Welcome to Library Storytime. It's a different day. To, it's usually on Tuesday. Today's Friday. But the reason is I wanted to do my one of my very favorite story times, which is celebrating our great state of Kansas. Happy Kansas Day! Today is January 29th. Kansas became a state January 29th, 1861. That means today, Kansas is 160 years old. Yay! Happy birthday, Kansas! I know I'm proud to be a Kansan, and I know you are too. So let's have some fun stories celebrating our great state of Kansas. Now, first of all, we should go over the symbols of Kansas. What is a symbol? A symbol is a picture, uh, of image, uh, some of anything that represents something. So when we say symbols of Kansas, these are things, animals, uh, reptiles, plants that represent our great state of Kansas. So when you see a sunflower, you'll think of Kansas. That's our state flower. And when you see the beautiful wheat waving, that will remind you of our great state of Kansas because Kansas is known as the wheat state. Kansas produces the most wheat in all of the United States. And when you go to a football game or a basketball game, or maybe you watch them on TV, when there's a touchdown or the Jayhawks make a basket, sometimes you'll see people waving the wheat. When they do like this, they are waving the wheat because when the strong winds blow across Kansas, the wheat waves. And you can kind of tell in this picture, the wheat is waving. There's a lot of wind in Kansas. In fact, Kansas is named after the Kansa Nation. And that is uh, the Kansa Nation, and Kansas means people of the South Wind. And I think that's so beautiful. You are the people of the South Wind. The wind is always blowing in Kansas. So that's how Kansas got its name from the Kansa Nation. And that are the first people that lived here in Kansas. People of the South Wind. So Kansas is known as the weed state. Some people say the sunflower state. Now, what is the state mammal or animal? Our state animal is the American bison, or you might say buffalo. So we're going to have a story, Grandfather Buffalo, to celebrate our Kansas symbol of the Kansas animal. And you can actually go see these beautiful creatures, buffalo, at the Tall Grass Prairie National Preserve. And that's near Strong City, Kansas. I've been there and it is wonderful. There is trails that you can go on. You can see buffalo, but you don't want to get too close to a buffalo. They look like gentle creatures, but they are very protective of their herd. So you don't want to get close to a buffalo because he'll start pawing and snorting. Now, the tall grass prairie used to cover millions and millions of acres. But now, less than 4% of the natural prairie is present in our United States. And if you go to the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve, you will see what the prairie looks like. And you'll see the buffalo. So hopefully you can make it. That's near Strong City, Kansas. And it is well worth your trip. So why don't you plan that? You know, when it gets warmer, so you can go hiking. Now, that was our state mammal, the American bison or buffalo. What is our state reptile? Well, this is our state reptile, which is the ornate box turtle. That is our state reptile. The ornate box turtle.
turtle. Let's listen to this beautiful sound. Did you hear it? Can't you imagine that beautiful sound on the prairie? Well, this is our state bird, which is the Western Meadowlark. And the Western Meadowlark has a beautiful song. Let's listen again. Oh, I would love to hear that on the Kansas prairie. So that is our state bird, the western meadowlark. Our state flower is the sunflower. That's our state flower, the sunflower. Do you like to eat sunflower seed? I do. Our state amphibian. Yes, we have a state amphibian, and that's the barred tiger salamander. I would love to see one, but they're very, very hard to see and they're very quick. So a barred tiger salamander is our state amphibian. Our state tree. What could be our state tree? You might see a lot of these down by the Kansas River. Our state tree is the cottonwood. The cottonwood tree is our state tree. And here's, here's a leaf and some some of the seeds and pods of the cottonwood tree. Well, we have insect. What would be our state insect? It's a bee, but what kind of bee? It's the honeybee. That is our state insect, the honeybee. Great job, everyone. We went through some of our symbols. Let's do a few finger plays with our symbols. This is our state insect, the honeybee. So get your beehive ready. Here's the beehive. Where are all the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Soon they'll come crawling out of their hive. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. And at this point, you can buzz around and tickle Tickle, tickle, tickle your brother or sister, your mom and dad, grandmother. Let's do it again. Well, here's the beehive where are all the bees hidden inside where nobody sees. Soon they'll come crawling out of their hive. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Very, very good. We have some other symbols. Let's look here. We said our state reptile is the turtle, the ornate box turtle. Let's do this little finger play. There was a little turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in a puddle and he climbed on a rock. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow. But he didn't catch me. Very good. We can do that with our hands. There was a little turtle. Here's our turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in a puddle and he climbed on a rock. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow. Oh, and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Good job. Well, uh, we are so proud of our state of Kansas and our craft this week. And please come to the Reader's Theater. You will get a packet. And inside the packet, I've included some wonderful Kansas activity sheets. This is dot to dot. I love dot to dot. You know how you find the one. And then you find the two and the three. And when you're done, it says American Buffalo State Animal of Kansas. So it will be a buffalo. And there's very various other sheets. Here's a sunflower you can color. This sheet has matched the sunflowers. See if you can find 
the two that are exactly alike. And also in your packet will be a corn cob and you can make a corn cob doll because the children, the native children, the pioneer children, they didn't have store-bought toys like we do. So they had to make their own toys. And to make a doll, many times the children would take rags from mom, from mother and stuff the rags with whatever they had, sawdust, horse hair, wheat, or sometimes just a corn cob that you can put some cloth on to make a doll. One of the most famous corn cob dolls is from Little House in the Big Woods and Laura, Laura Ingalls Wilder, her doll was Susan, and it was a corn cob doll. And in that book and in a story, Laura said Susan couldn't help it that she was just a corn cob, but made a very nice doll. So you've got cloth that'll be included, and you can make your very own corn cob doll, which I really love corn cob dolls. And I even picked up the corn cobs from my brother's farm. So hope you can come and get that. So let's see what we have next. How about our story, Grandfather Buffalo by Jim Arnosky. And I love Jim Arnosky. He writes wonderful books. This is Grandfather Buffalo. He's written and illustrated. And that means he's written the story and he's drawn the pictures. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pictures. And we'll see Grandfather Buffalo on the tall grass prairie. Grandfather Buffalo was old and slow, but he was still strong. He was the biggest and oldest bull in the herd, and he was getting older every day. Now, bull means he was a male or a boy, and the girls' buffalo are called cows and the babies are called calves. He spent a lot of time alone, lying in the tall grass, resting his old bones. When the herd moved on, Grandfather Buffalo slowly stood, shook the dust off his sides, and followed. Each time, he was left a little further behind. There's the herd moving. Here's Grandfather Buffalo. Here's the tall grass prairie. But as long as he could see the others, Grandfather Buffalo was part of the herd. Longhorn cattle and prairie dogs kept the old buffalo company some of the, of the way. Mostly though, he walked alone following the fresh tracks of his herd. Here's the fresh tracks. One day at the drinking stream, Grandfather Buffalo came upon another buffalo, also traveling far behind the herd. It was a young cow carrying the heavy weight of her unborn calf. She's gonna be a mama. She was following far behind, too. Together, they followed the tracks of the herd. When some cowboys came looking for their cattle, Grandfather Buffalo snorted at them and pawed the ground until they rode away. Oh, you don't, like we said, you don't want to get too close to a buffalo. Mm -mm. He was pawing and snorting. And those cowboys went away. Later that night, when the herd, with the herd grazing close by, the cow gave birth to her calf. And all through the night, Grandfather Buffalo listened in the darkness for sounds of danger. He was guarding the mother and the new baby. But all he heard was the tiny bleeps of the newborn calf and the soft grunts of its mother. In the morning light, the old bull walked over for a closer look. The calf looked up, unafraid. When the herd moved on, the calf stumbled and hopped and ran, trying to keep up with his mother and the rest. Grandfather Buffalo was close behind, nudging the little calf along. 
they walked into a dust storm, which would happen on the prairie. That means the winds are blowing and the dust is so thick you cannot see. The calf lost sight of his mother and ran around bleeding loudly, looking and calling for his mother. He couldn't see his mother. He was blinded by all that dust. In the blur of the storm, he accidentally ran into B Grandfather Buffalo and butted his hard little head into the old bull's woolly side. Grandfather Buffalo grunted and kept grunting as he walked. That way the calf could follow the sound through the blinding dust. So Grandfather Buffalo helped the little calf. Grandfather Buffalo would grunt and that little calf could hear his grunts and know he was right there. When the dust cleared, the herd was grazing nearby. The calf ran to his mother, but Grandfather Buffalo was very tired and wanted to be by himself. He found a quiet spot to lie down and quickly fell asleep. He was very tired. It was night when the old bull was awakened by something pressing against his side. When he looked, it was the little calf napping right by his side. In the light of the shining moon, Grandfather Buffalo got up, waking the calf with the motion. Then the calf followed his mother, and Grandfather Buffalo followed the calf down to the rest of the herd, and they all grazed together. Beautiful creatures. Grandfather Buffalo was old and slow, but he was still part of the herd. And that's the story of Grandfather Buffalo. And I love to read this when we talk about Kansas Day because this just reminds me of our state mammal, the American bison or buffalo. And it shows the tall grass prairie. Grandfather Buffalo by Jim Arnosky. I hope you get to go to the tall grass prairie and see buffalo and see the tall grass waving in the wind. Well, let's look at another little finger play. We said our state flower was the sunflower. So let's plant a little bit of sunflower seeds and see if we can grow a sunflower. Let's try it this way. So we're gonna dig a little hole Plant a little seed, pour a little water, pull a little weed. Up, 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 green stems climb. Open wide, it's blossom time. So let's use my magic bag. And maybe we can produce a sunflower. But first, let's look in the bag. Everyone can see nothing. You can see my hand. See my hand? Nothing in the bag. So let's pretend this is our soil. So we're gonna dig a little hole. Let's plant a little seed. We're gonna plant some sunflower seed. We're gonna pour a little water. And we gotta pull a little weed. Up, 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 green stems climb. Let's see, <gasps> open wide. It's blossom time. Look at that sunflower. How did you do that? Well, it's magic. And our great state of Kansas is a wonderful place to be. Let's look at the Flint Hills of Kansas. And right here's a little mound of prairie dogs. Our state song is Home on the Range. That's the Kansas state song. And I bet you know that. Let's sing a few little verses of it. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard 
a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Oh, that's our state song, Home on the Range. I forgot to tell you, our state uh, plant is the little blue stem. Our state grass is the little blue stem. And uh, let's look at Hark. I hear a meadow lark. Let's listen. Oh, I hear that lovely sound. This is Hark. I hear a meadow lark. And this is bitten, written by Roy Bird, who was our state librarian. And he wrote this wonderful book, and it has many, many symbols of Kansas. See if you can spot them. Hark, I hear a meadow lark. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. The illustrations are by Gwen Battis. Hark, I hear a meadow lark. And the meadow lark hears me. Take a gander. I see a salamander. There's the barred tiger salamander. That's our state amphibian. And the salamander sees me. Yippee! I hear a honeybee. That's our state insect. And the honeybee buzzes by me. Zzz. On the soil so fertile, I see a box turtle. That's the ornate box turtle, our state reptile. And the turtle hides from me. Oh, what fun. I hear a bison. The American bison or buffalo, our state mammal. And the bison hears me. Oh, good. I see a cottonwood. And the cottonwood shades me. Cottonwood provides lots of wonderful shade on a hot, hot Kansas summer day. That's our state tree, the cottonwood. All ours. I see sunflowers. That's our state flower. And the sunflowers nod to me. What a treat. I see a field of wheat, the wheat state, and the wheat waves back at me. What a thrill. I see a windmill. There's lots of windmills. If you travel past Salina, you will see the windmills because Kansas is, remember, it's a windy state and we're the people of the south wind. And the windmill turns for me. Here's an old-fashioned windmill. And here's the modern energy uh, to produce energy windmills. Feel the wind. It blows free. It moves the grass. And it moves me. We've reached our stop along the road. Oh, look, the children have walked to get the mail. They've come to the mailbox. They've gotten the mail, and now they're turning around to go home. Now the wind will blow us home. We'll see the windmill. There's the windmills and the wheat. There's the wheat waving in the wind. Yellow blooms in shade from the heat. Sunflowers are bowed down when it's so hot, but then when it cools off, they'll come back up. We'll hear buffalo and watch the shell. That'll be our ornate box turtles. We'll watch the shell, hear the buzz, and see the crawl. The buzz with the bees, crawl with the barred tiger salamander. See the bright bird and hear her call. Very lovely. Wee! They're home at last. I see my family. And my family loves me. This is such a wonderful book. It has all the symbols of Kansas. And Kansas Facts is listed here. All the things we've talked about. 
However, here is a really fun fact about Kansas. The windiest city in Kansas and the whole nation is Dodge City, Kansas. That's the windiest city in Kansas and the nation. So that is Hark. I hear a meadowlark by our very own Roy Bird. Well, I have loved talking with you and being with you on this Kansas Day. I hope you can celebrate Kansas Day. Think about the different symbols. Come pick up your packet and you'll have lots of activities. There's a meadow like to color. There's a buffalo. There's all kinds of things. And also, there's material for you to make your corn cob doll. Well, we said Kansas was 160 years old today. January 29th, 1861 is when Kansas became a state, and that's 160 years. So let's sing happy birthday to Kansas. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kansas. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, and have a great Kansas Day. Bye-bye.